Okay, uh, Chris Clark back again for part two of Sophia's Last Day. I am on another quadrant of the island now, and I'm looking at a map that goes with some of the activities that uh, CAP30523 did. And I'm zooming in, and you can see how uh, we had different activities here. You can see there was a shop where students had created materials that ideally people would come and buy. Way up above was a floating gallery of uh, posters that the students created um, using artwork from Flickr. That gallery is uh, no longer there. Um, there is a sculpture garden that I'll show you in a minute here. Okay. So over here, you can see the store students created either clothing or furniture and then the idea was that uh, you could come in here and purchase one of these items. So here's a that's supposed to be Pteranodon t-shirt. So coffee table, some furniture, someone made a really fancy shirt here. The building itself was a free uh, building that I found in one of the freebie shops. I just plopped it down here on the island. So I'm not exactly sure how this came here. I believe that this is an experiment in using media on a surface. Over here is an elevator, which I don't know that it goes anywhere anymore because I took the floating gallery out. But the uh, these, this little teleporter was very useful for jumping around uh, different places on the island. You would go in and it would present a menu. Well, let's just go in and we'll see. So this says go up to the gallery, and I'm going to say no. I'm just going to escape, ignore this, and get out of the teleporter. Originally, there was a menu that would take you to a whole bunch of different locations. Let's go now and we'll look at the sculpture garden. Uh, there were a, a number of these posters around the island. We picked the name Sophia because Sophia was the goddess of wisdom. I thought that had some uh, nice idea, uh, nice connection with uh, learning. And we found a, a statue of Sophia and turned that uh, into sort of our logo. Found a photo of a statue of Sophia. So this uh, podcast, I think right now I've got the uh, sound turned off, but normally when you walk through here, this would trigger the different podcast sound recordings that the students had made. And so each of the little areas here that you see, um, as you walk through, you would hear a different recording um, which you can still hear um, offline. So I'm not going to try to uh, capture those right now. Oh, here we go. This podcast will deal with the Tom Doolian Children's Statue located at the University of Notre Dame. Within Notre Dame, the statue can be found on the southwest side of the grotto. The latitude is 41.702959, and the longitude is 86.2406627. The statue was erected in 1986, and it was donated by the Alumni Association. This statue was created in honor of Dr. Tom Dooley for the work he did in Laos, a country located in Southeast Asia near China and Vietnam. While there, he established many med- So, as I hope you can hear, uh, there are different podcasts as you walk through here. Derek Chalfont's sculpture, Hall Tree House Shirt, stands in the grassy space between Mendoza and DeBartolo Hall. Its donor and- 
the students um, were assigned to create a recording about one of the public sculptures on campus. And then here in Second Life, we had these little pods where they could post a photo, and um, then we linked their podcast so that as you walk through here, it would be like walking through a sculpture garden. Some of these podcasts uh, are not connected any longer, but that's okay. You get the idea. The statue of Jeremiah, also called the Prophet, is located west of Grace Hall. Jeremiah was sculpted by Valdemar Otto, an artist in residence at the university from 1963 through 1965. The sculpture was included in the artist's exhibit at the Notre Dame Art Gallery in 1964. It is nearly six feet high and is made of bronze. Jeremiah depicts a gaunt man, the prophet Jeremiah, who is somberly carrying a Tucked between the glass windows and brick walls of the Bartolo Hall, flanked by pale stones, green shrubs, and a bicycle rack, is a little-known sculpture entitled Tantric Circle 45. This was one of the more ambitious ones where the student actually tried to recreate the sculpture and really did a wonderful job. Created in 1988 by Wood... The Statue of the Sacred Heart is located. So, this project was actually one of my favorites, um, and I think it came out very nicely. Um, I'm going to stop the tape here, or stop the recording here, uh, because I'm not sure that uh, all of this is going to work. <laughs>